Next thing we're going to do is he's going to come down. We said, if you notice when I was doing this, and he didn't, doesn't know my tricks on this one anymore. All right, get down like you're getting down in a four point or six, good six point stance. You're good. Relax it. All right, we're always remember I'm moving my hand to get him started. Okay. All right. So my hand, our guys know this. They'll holler it out. If my hand goes like this, it's run away. If my hand goes like that. When I move it, it's run too. It's coming to him. Okay. The hand goes like comes up. Pass. Okay? I give them three commands. We work it every day. So when we're doing things with the starts, they're always getting to read. Run to, run away, pass. And you're going to say, well, what about trap? What do we, you know what? It's either run to, run away, or pass. Everything can be outlined in those, in those three terms. We'll get into specifics when we watch film. So we, we, we got a handle on, I don't have any touch on them that I know. It's either a pull or a trap uh, coming. But it's run to, run away to start off with, along with pass. So they get that read, they get that sensory read. The next thing we're going to do is talk about hand explosion. All right? In my years of doing this, I've become more and more, how fast you get your hands out in front of you, all right, is going to dictate your success. If you watch, and you can watch in the Super Bowl, watch the defense alignment, okay? Boom! If their hands are right there, they're going to be in great shape, all right? They will be in great shape, okay? So you want to make sure you're working that all the time. So we talk about hands, okay? We talk about hands, hips, and then the feet. Hands, hips, feet. Hands, hips, feet. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is work drills, what we call our hand explosions. Okay? And it's how fast can we get the hands to move. Now we have, I'll do this drill, we'll do it with shields. Okay? We will do this on a sled. Okay? Or we will do it, um, if, if you ever come down to business, you're more than welcome to, you're going to see us. We have actually a brand new indoor practice facility. Yes, I said that right. We have an indoor practice facility, a turf field, practice field. The walls, there's a five yard cushion outside the sidelines and, and, and on either end, have a thick padding along. All right? And the first time I walked in this place, okay, which is basically just about a year ago, okay, I looked at that thing and I'm looking at it, and everybody's getting enamored by the field, you know, and all the markings, and you know, the kicker's got a net that comes down at the goal post, all right, all great. I'm looking on, I see the walls, man. Oh man, this is, you know, this is better sex, man. This is one giant, giant sled. Because the walls are like getting a sled. I can do everything. Oh, God, it was great. You know, we use it all the time. We actually, our, our offense and defense line use the indoor facility for individual drills every day. Even in August, Denver doesn't matter. That's where we go. Okay? It, it's great. Because then I don't, I don't need all these shields in between. We can use the walls. But what we're going to do is, what I want to do is get down a six point stance, okay? And what he's going to do, if he sees this flinch, he's going to shoot his hands, all right, into the shield right here. Okay? Do you want me to pop the hips too, Coach? Or just, just, just the hands right now. Just the hands. There it is, right there. All right? How fast, okay, can he get him out in front of him? How fast? Okay? And what you're looking to do is bring those hands from what we talk about from low to high. Because you're going to be doing that if you're in a stance. They're coming from low to high. Okay? How fast? You're not going to raise them up. And this is where, and, and by the way, we film almost everything we do. Um, I've got a point, I'll just grab some manager, and it, it, things are easy. I just take my iPad around, all right, hand my iPad uh, to some manager and say, okay, I, I need you to film some things for a while. I upload it, and our guys watch it, okay? So what I'm looking for, go ahead and six point stance, so gonna, is what I'm going to see is, when this hand, if you're looking at this one, does it go out or is this first movement up? Okay, if it's up, we're wrong. 
Because what's going to happen? I'm in here and I go like this to do this. The son of God on the other side is in my body. He's in my body. He's clamped on. Okay? I ain't going anywhere, am I? I've got to get that extension. I've got to keep that separation right there. So what we're working on when we do this drill, okay? Okay, I'm going to move it, boom, through the hands, okay? And all I do is watch the angle of the hands when I do this, okay? Right in there. How fast can he move? You're getting pretty good at that, Steve. All right? Good. On that one. Pretty I just do stuff like this all the time, okay? How fast can he get that, those hands out in front of him? To me, that is critical. Okay. That is critical. We're also looking to have those hands, and Steve was really about right on. I'm watching to see where they are in relationship to his eyes. I don't want the hands up here. That's not going to do me any good. I don't need the hands way down here. That's going to be tough. I want them right about eye level, because that's about what's going to happen. Okay? If you think about it right off of their chin, it is where they're going to be. Okay? Now, the next one we're going to do... We do the same thing. Excuse me one second. I have a good question. If they're in a shade, where do you have their hand placed? Good. What do you like? Perfect. All right. So when we get in our shade, we do this on the sled all the time. So now we're, I'm going to shade them. So I'm on this, this side of them. See the shade? All right. So I'm going to be shaded. So now I'm thinking about his left hand is going to be sitting right in here, right on the outside of this thing. His right hand is right down the middle of this pad. So he's in here. Boom. Right there. Okay. Right there. Okay. Great question, Ski. Thank you. All right, that's our next progression. We get in, and once they start learning, we get in our shades. Because everything we do, we're a four-man front. Doesn't mean anything. Okay, we're shaded up on, on all our stuff. Okay, uh, we do run some three-man front <clears throat> stuff as well. But even then, I'm looking. We're looking to shade people or move people. Anyways, if if you see us in a three-man front, we're probably blitzing. <laughs> as simple as that. Okay. So now the next one we're going to do is. We gotta add the second component. We've gone hands, remember we said hands, hips, feet. Okay, so now we're gonna to try to throw that hip in there. Okay, we're gonna throw the hip, and I, I'm gonna stay head up to get him the teaching of this first. All right, so it moves, there's the hip, there's the hip coming through. And we tell them, don't worry about landing anybody, belly button, that's what we want. We want that. Throw the hips in a little bit harder. Boom. There you go. That's it, Ski. There you go. Good job. Here we go. There you go. The movement, okay, and I don't start a drill. I might be able to talk forever, but I hate starting drills. Okay, so our guys learn how to start. They, they know if they have a shield, they're starting it with a movement of the shield. If they're doing something else, the next guy in line has got his hand out there, moving his hand, giving a read. If we do this on the sled, I literally... What we'll have, you know, our sled set up, you know, boom, boom, boom. We have guys standing right in between their hands on the sled, and there's, it looks like a, you know, a three ring circus almost, but you got guys going at different times, doesn't matter to me. I'm looking for those hands and hips. We don't, if we drive this sled, okay, Ski knows this one, that means I'm not in a good mode, okay? Because normally, about 99.99999% of the time, I don't drive the sled anywhere. I want to still have to sit, sit in right one spot, okay? Once in a while for fun, okay? My fun, I guess, not their fun. We'll move the sled, okay? So now he's done six-point explosion. We're going to also now get into a three-point stance, okay? And I will let, if you want to talk about technique, I let our guys go into three or four-point stance. Our inside guys a lot of times run four-point stance. Where do they feel comfortable? How fast can they get off the ball? If I'm, if I'm unsure what might be better for them, I'll have them do both for a while until we dictate and we work together on what's best for them. Because I don't want to, if a guy's good on a four point, let him go on a four point. Doesn't matter. Okay? He's getting the job done. Okay? It's better on a three point, get him in a three point. Either way. So now they're in here. Now we're going to come out of a three point and we're still not going anywhere. Okay? All we're going to do is the hands and the hips out of the three-point. All right? Here it is. Boom. Boom. There it is. Okay? Your feet are coming too soon. Feet are coming too soon. What's that going Your feet are too soon. Okay? Get the hands and hips first. Okay. Hands and hips first. Here we go. Boom. There you go. Okay? I don't even want the feet to come right now. Hands. Boom. There it is. There it is. Right there. Hips aren't coming, are they, guys? All right? So you got to work on those hips, man. Yes, sir. All right. Here we go. Boom. There, there you go. 
Now the hips came on there. Okay, see the difference? Feel the difference on that one? That's what you're looking for. You want those hips coming through there. Hips coming through. Then when we get into progression, okay, the next one we're going to do is out of the three-point. Now we do all these against this wall in our indoor, okay, because we don't need to go anywhere. And what happens with the wall is nothing's given. So what happens, they end up in a roll position, hips underneath, shoulders is what I'm looking for, okay, and they, they basically pause it. They can pause it. And their partner is supposed to be coaching them up. What do they do right? What do they do wrong? Where are their eyes? Okay? Because the eyes should be going right through the thumbs. Okay? I want the eyes going straight ahead. Don't want the eyes looking down the ground. Okay? Turf ain't going to change. It's still going to be green. Okay? Unless I'm in Boise. Okay? Or Eastern Washington where it's red. One of the two. Okay? Otherwise, it's green. Okay? The grass is going to be green. Okay? Unless you're playing a mud game. I don't know what your field looks like. Okay? For Aquinas, it could be who knows if it's green or not, right? <laughs> okay? Uh, so uh, that's that's what we're going to be doing right there. Looking at the eyes, looking at the hand position. Okay. Again, we're looking. I don't want the hands out here. I want to be able to see it. I want this right in here. I want to keep that power going. The next one we will do. Now we have to use the shields. Okay. Now we're going to go three point. Where you're just, you're going to do hands, hips, and then move your feet. I'm you guys stay with me. Okay. okay? Okay, we're gonna start back here a little bit, so we got a little bit of room. We'll take this, all right, we're gonna sit up right here. Boom, there it is, come on, come on, there you go. Then just start running backwards. All right, have him bring his feet. What I'm looking for when he's doing this, so is he still going hands first? Is he still going hips second? And then the feet are coming, okay? If you have one of those, got a couple mature coaches in here, the old two-man crawler sled. Uh, Ski knows what I'm talking about because we use this at UWL all the time. Because um, back when I was there, we had one. Uh, I love those. Okay? They don't need to make them anymore. Like that, which is too bad. It's probably one of the best sleds there is uh, in terms of moving things. Okay? 